Goodwill Community Foundation, creating opportunities for a better life. Hi, I'm Lisa for GCFLearnFree.org, and today we're talking about the iPhone. The iPhone is capable of a multitude of tasks, from making calls and texting, to providing driving directions and playing music. But before we dive into everything the iPhone is capable of, let's take a few moments to explore some of the important physical aspects, such as finding the various buttons and ports, charging the battery, and caring for the iPhone itself. The iPhone only has a few buttons and ports, keeping things simple. On the right side, there's the sleep-wake button, and on the left side, the ring silent switch and the volume buttons. Below the touchscreen is the home button. And at the bottom is the lightning connector, which allows you to charge the battery, connect headphones, and more. You can plug the lightning cable included with your iPhone into a USB port on your computer to charge the battery or transfer data. If you only want to charge the battery, however, you can connect to a wall outlet through the power adapter also included with your iPhone. Just plug the adapter into the wall, then insert the charging cable's USB. You can also check the battery life by finding the battery icon in the top right of the touchscreen. Starting with the iPhone 7, there is no headphone jack, leaving you with three options if you want to listen in. Your iPhone comes with headphones that have a lightning connector, as well as an adapter that can connect to standard headphones. You can also purchase wireless headphones if you want to get rid of wires altogether. The buttons themselves are easy to use. Press the sleep-wake button or the home button to wake your iPhone. Then you can press the home button, enter your passcode if you set one up, and you're ready to roll. When you're finished using your iPhone, press the sleep-wake button to put it to sleep. Controlling the ringer on your iPhone is also quite simple. Flip the ring silent switch up and your iPhone will ring whenever you receive a call, text, or other notification. Move the switch down and the iPhone will vibrate instead. If you're going to take pictures or use FaceTime to video chat, you'll be using a camera, and the iPhone has two, one on the front and another on the back. Anytime you're snapping a picture or recording video, you can switch between the cameras by touching the camera flip icon on the right. That way you can go from filming something in front of you to yourself and back again. Caring for your iPhone is important for extending the life of your device. Cleaning the screen is simple. Use a dry, lint-free cloth to wipe off smudges or fingerprints. Be sure not to use any household cleaners, however, as they could ruin the special coating on the touchscreen. Also, we recommend you protect your iPhone with a case. Cases vary a great deal, ranging from sleek ones that only cover the back and sides of the iPhone to durable shells that protect the entire device from bumps, scratches, and falls. A wide variety of cases are available from the Apple Store and many other retailers. So now that you know the various buttons and ports, how to charge the battery, and how to care for your iPhone, you're ready to start exploring everything it can do.